The Texas Department of Public Safety has produced this educational video to help applicants applying for a Texas commercial driver license determine if a commercial motor vehicle is safe to operate on Texas and U.S. roadways. This module will discuss the vehicle's axles, which include the tires, rims, suspension, and brakes. Please take note that any like items on the rear of the vehicle and the trailer are checked the exact same way with the following exceptions. A tire inspection includes tread depth, condition, and inflation. If these are not properly monitored, it could lead to tire failure, tread separation, hydroplaning, or affect the ability to turn the vehicle. While all tires should be examined when preparing to drive the vehicle, for the purposes of this pre-chip examination video, we will only examine one front and one rear tire. The minimum tread depth on the front axle tires is 4 seconds of an inch. All other truck and trailer tires should have a minimum of 2 seconds of an inch of tread depth. Check to ensure the tread is evenly worn. Watch out for large portions of missing tread. Tread and tire sidewalls cannot show damage such as cuts or bulges. All valve stems and caps have to be present and undamaged. Check tires for proper inflation. This must be done with a tire gauge. Kicking or pounding the tire is not acceptable for inspection. Rims cannot be damaged. Damaged rims could cause the wheel to fall off the axle or the tire to lose pressure. Types of damage to look for are welding repairs, bent rims, or rust trails, which mean the rim is loose. Drivers must also ensure that the wheels have all lug nuts present and that they are properly tightened. Cracks starting from the bolt holes or distorted bolts would be an indication of a potentially serious problem. Hub oil or axle seals need to be checked for leaks. Some vehicles have a sight glass to observe the oil level to make sure it is adequate. In order for the drive axle to turn, power must be transmitted through the drive shaft from the transmission. The drive shaft cannot be crooked or split, and the U-joints have to be firmly attached and clear of any debris. Check to make sure the exhaust system shows no signs of damage, such as cracks, dents, or holes. Look for any leaks and make sure it is attached tightly to the engine and has no loose clamps. If rust or carbon soot is noticed, it may be a sign that the clamps are loose. The vehicle maintains its stability by having a strong, complete frame. There should be no missing or loose cross members. Always examine the long part of the frame and the cross members for any damage such as cracks or bends. Wheel vibration caused by driving over rough roads is lessened by leaf or coil springs. Any leaves that are damaged or missing could cause an accident. If the vehicle springs are out of place, they could possibly hit a tire, interfering with driving. Part of this system includes the air ride suspension, which will also be looked at for any damage or leaks. Spacers or bud spacers may be located on the axle collar between dual wheels to keep the wheels evenly separated. If the wheel has spacers, the applicant will check to see that they are not bent, damaged, or rusted. The bud wheels should be spaced evenly, not damaged, and free of foreign objects. The suspension assembly is affixed to the axle using both U-shaped bolts and mounting bolts. All bolts required must be present, tightened properly, and in good condition. The air or brake fluid is moved using hoses and lines. Drivers must check that hoses and lines are in excellent condition and all couplings and fittings are properly attached and have no leaks. If there are electric brakes, those lines have to be affixed tightly and the covering cannot be worn or split. 
Air pressure is applied to a piston in the brake chamber, which then applies pressure to the brakes. The brake chamber must not have any damage or leaks and has to be tightly fastened to the vehicle for the brakes to function properly. In order to adjust the slack in the brake linkage, a vehicle has slack adjusters and push rods. Improperly mounted or damaged slack adjusters or push rods could lead to locked up wheels or increased stopping distance. When the brakes are released and the push rod is pulled, the movement should not be more than one inch. Brakes may fail to work if the brake drums are cracked. Brake linings or brake drums cannot be overly eroded as this would create heat buildup. The drums or rotors cannot be damaged in any way. There should not be any grease or oil in the brake drums or linings. Splash guards or mud flaps are used to stop objects from being thrown back and damaging other vehicles. Drivers that have vehicles equipped with splash guards must ensure they are mounted securely and free of damage. Taking the time to learn the safety and security aspects of the vehicle will help you prepare for the pre-trip portion of the CDL test. Drivers, study plus preparation equals pre-trip pass. You can also use the CDL vehicle inspection memory aid found on page 11-9 of the CDL handbook. Maximize your time and efforts of the CDL pre-trip test by studying chapters 10, 11, 12, and 13 in the Texas Commercial Motor Vehicle Driver Handbook. Review the correct sections for each type of CDL test you need by using the chart shown here. More time spent in preparing greatly increases your level of success. The information you just received is one part of a series to help prepare you to become a safe and licensed commercial driver. For further updates, subscribe to the channel, and as always, be safe and courteous while traveling the roadways.